We live in prophetic times. Normal rules aren't working. Gravity still works. The tide comes in and out just the same, but gravity and the tide don't make things fall quite like they used to. Old rules are being broken and new laws of life are taking over. We won't be able to move forward unless we can read the writing on the wall, and that takes a prophetic gift. And that's the thing about prophets. They are gifts. The prophets themselves are gifts. They're not certified by study. They are given by God. And we should say thank you. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, Pacific Daily Times. Know each other. The real reason American voters prefer Donald Trump is violence. Jesus said that from the beginning, the kingdom of heaven was a kingdom of violence and that the violent take by force. Many analysts are trying to understand why Trump is so popular. Many agree it is not conservatism. But America is made up of God's people. He's willing to be violent rather than politically correct. We could view Trump as a patriot. He loves his home country and he is willing to alienate anyone and lose everything for his country. That makes sense. A president who loves his country... And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele. JesseSteele.com My rich dad often talked about four things that affected his bank account. Wild belief in big possibilities, judging people by fruits, accepting criticism from people who have the results you want, delayed luxury gratification. Judging by results is hard to learn. Where there is smoke, there is a fire. Things grow where we plant them. Successful people reevaluate their methods if they see bad results, but failures often limit themselves with artificial can'ts and do not accept the truth fruit tells. So, the rich know how to get richer, and the poor are able to stay poor while wanting otherwise. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele. JesseSteele.com in the Gospels, Jesus teaches us to judge a man by his fruit. This does not mean that we judge him by his activity, but that we judge his activity by what that activity produces. This is also what he meant when he said, I search heart and mind, yet I render to each according to his work. God does not judge by our busyness, but by the value of our business. Activity is good or bad based on what lasting effect comes after. While it is wrong to condemn any person, we can always judge any fruits of labor. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, jessesteele.com. Patience is paramount. When a hypocrite crosses your path, God is hoping you respond to him without hypocrisy. When a heretic enters the fold, holy angels keep records of your own heresy. Whether your actions prove your belief that God is sovereign and stronger. When someone tries to harm your loved ones or your country, Jesus is there as the King of Kings, watching to see whether you will respond within his golden rule. When trouble crosses your path, do you enjoy God's method of giving you endurance enough to scale mountains, or do you rebuke Him for it? That's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, jessesteele.com. Psalm 122.6 prays for peace in Jerusalem. Many political leaders think along a spectrum with being pro-Israel at one end and being pro-peace at the other. Yet, the Bible seems to have them together. When Donald Trump explained that he wanted to remain objective in hopes of negotiating peace, many thought he was being less supportive of Israel. However, those who have listened to Trump, rather than listening to Trump edited, knew otherwise. 
perhaps those who read their Bibles recognized that seeking to have peace in Jerusalem is the strongest pro-Israel position. Strange that the most pro-Israel candidate is compared to Hitler. That's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, jessesteele.com. To people who always cower and tout false humility as a virtue, confidence seems like pride. Someone raised in a barn would call mom a Nazi for asking people to take their shoes off at the door. It's not that mom wants to hawk everyone, but everyone should want a clean house. And it takes some confidence to even ask, just as it takes confidence to take off your shoes when asked without being offended. Gratitude requires confidence. It's interesting how the people who complain the most about someone else's purported pride usually complain about a lot of other things. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, jessesteele.com. Only God's rules can lead to great prosperity, and only God's rules can keep it. After the Bible partially tamed and civilized the West, after more civilization spread with more Bible influence to the New World, and after the prosperity of the New World spread across the globe, God's prosperity is no longer secret nor a commodity. But having piggybacked off of the benefits of the wisdom of few— The masses have been given the keys to a car, like children who don't know how to drive. Only death can come of this, and the children will think everything unfair. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, jessesteele.com. Needs and wants present choices. Oftentimes we think we must choose between needs only to find that most of what we think we need is only a want. When our eyes get bigger than our stomachs, we overspend and break our budgets and are forced to start from scratch. That's when we rediscover our proper place. Once you learn to trim your own spending, you get ruthless with yourself. You take a liking to straight shooters and get irritated with uber-polite yes-men. If we haven't been there, we tend to criticize the manners of people who have. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, jessesteele.com. Achieving anything takes time. Don't quit. You've heard it, but remember something else? Be busy. The best way to know that things are working is if you are working. Get busy. When you don't see the results you want, don't just do random things. That's called dilly-dallying. Instead, start constructive avalanches. Get good things going that will require you to do more work when they succeed. Many people fail because they are afraid of having too much work. But the more successful you are, the more you will want to work. Successful paths entail work. That is where to go. And that is the point. I'm Jesse Steele, jessesteele.com. Life results from choices. When corruption erupts through a society, somewhere there lies a long trail of bad decisions. When government can't control crime, it's doing something wrong, either unethical or incompetent. When large companies impose themselves on the rights of their customers, the people... The customers made a bad choice in giving those companies their patronage to begin with. When children grow up to be foolish, the parents did something wrong. When we aren't happy with our own lives, we probably overlooked more than one opportunity to learn. The notion of choice and consequences seems nice. Until it compels. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele. jessesteele.com For years, the world's brightest and most talented have been harassed and dismissed for their ingenuity. Newness goes against the old grain by definition. Newness would say oldness goes against tomorrow's grain. The old guard cudgels and dominates for a time. Not because it is right, but because it is old and big. Teamwork 
quote-unquote, is the nonsense the old guard uses to excuse what it wants. Calculated non-offense failed American businesses and now every establishment-favored candidate in the Republican Party. Why do captains despise the turbulence that gives speed to their sails? Calmness itself was always their plotted destination. And that is the point. I'm Jesse Steele, jessesteele.com. Lifting and encouraging people must happen in any situation if it is to happen in the darkest situation. When things are easy, we easily become lazy. When things are tough, we easily curse. On-purpose happiness, however, is not only contagious, it is unilateral. Happiness is only real when it is a choice made regardless of its backdrop of circumstance. While difficult situations test and strengthen our skill for emotional self-control, they also prove whether our happiness is real. A diamond cut is a diamond through and through. A water glass once spilled spills water, not anything else, not even diamonds. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, jessesteele.com. Life happens. It's normal. Don't be afraid. Many scary sounds are no more than wind. Many things can happen that we don't know can happen. We get noodle whipped, scared into submission as children who grew old but never grew out of the chains. The things that used to scare and control us in the past don't need to scare or control us in the future. So, have a sit down with yourself. Review your fears, your alarms, your red flag triggers, and the things that drive you to push the panic button. They might not be real things. At most, idle threats. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, jessesteele.com. The devil's in the details, they say. Look at the projects in your life. If you're going anywhere, everything seems to happen too slowly. Even then, it may be happening too quickly, or it may be happening at just the right pace. While we could review the many anecdotes, good things come to those who wait, you can't rush art, haste makes waste, etc., look at the value of making people wait. Many good brands have a waiting period. And it actually helps their sales. Consumers know the anecdotes about patience. So they wait for leaders who do also. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, jessesteele.com. When things are moving and popping and the road twists and curves, don't get lost in the goal. That's one of the reasons it takes so long to reach any destination worth going to. The ride along the way, the scenery and thrill of danger and splendor, it's all part of the story about the destination. The journey also describes the price of the goal. People don't watch multiple seasons of a TV show just to find out what happens at the end. They often watch TV too much because they think their own lives are boring. Maybe they're not. That's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, jessesteele.com. Institutions will always irritate people and create problems. Eventually, everyone learns how optional those institutions are. Trump has thoroughly exposed that for the American political establishment. Rome was another example. Don't be afraid. Don't fear the Colosseum's collapse. Don't fear what people will say when you exit first. Institutions were made by men and, like any construct... They were meant to fall at the hands of men. As for the good ones, like the castles of old, their doors stay open because of superior craftsmanship, though they did shift in their purposes. Don't be afraid of waves. Make them. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, jessesteele.com. 
This life is as finished as it will ever get. Jesus finished it at the cross. That dream of completion won't happen overnight. When Jesus lands, there will be more work to do than ever. From here on out, we keep working. We keep tying up loose ends by opening new ones. Eternity began at the cross. It was the end of the beginning. Enjoy the journey. Don't invalidate yourself or today's work. Today is not broken, just in process. The process is the product. Once you reach a landmark, you'll find a new one. Goals are merely directional. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, jessesteele.com. Don't forget to rest. Task-driven hearts don't care how tired they are while in pursuit of something great. The cost is worth the dream. The needs are worth paying their price. The benefit is every bit as much worth its pain as it is its salt. Just don't forget to rest. The costs of victory are high enough as it is. Don't add to those costs the great expense of overheating, a taxi and one-time-use gas can, blown rings, or even the victory itself. Remember the tortoise and the hare. Pace yourself. Steady as she goes. Don't forget the rest. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, jessesteele.com. Big education, big religion, big government, big money, big charity, big entertainment, these terms make their way through the memes. They are all problems. Sooner or later, people identify common threads and consistencies. What do all these have in common, we ask? Look again. The basic virtue, or better called anti-virtue, in all these is their dedication to a centralized control over a vast spectrum. Everyone loves internationalness, travel, peace, trade, and the gang. But we don't want idiots running it all. Consider things you despise. They are usually good things commandeered by central planning. Centralism is the elitist religion. And that is the point. I'm Jesse Steele, jessesteele.com. It's been 12 score years. It's interesting how we consider our independence to have started at our declaration of it. We hadn't yet won the revolution. It actually seemed doubtful. Troops weren't too happy and thought about quitting. Congress argued it didn't want to pay. Only 15% of the population participated. Even after the British limped home and said, we didn't want to win anyway, we still had a constitution to figure out. Paul Revere helped start the first insurance company, remember? We won the war, we even won the peace, but then we had to figure out how to govern. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, jessesteele.com. When the alarm sounds, it's too late to prepare. If you're in the building during an earthquake, you can only hope it was designed to withstand and built correctly. Most don't want to talk about smoke on the horizon. Some might talk about the coming storm, but we usually hate the people who know the size and name of the coming army. I can't know that much, so there's no way anyone else does. If you see the writing on the wall... Don't argue with people who don't listen. Be peaceful. Be ready. Just make sure no one is surprised. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele. JesseSteele.com When you see the writing on the wall, work. While you work, people will call you crazy. But they won't see you as a threat. Sounding an alarm makes people angry. They don't want noise during tea time. Note the reactions to crisis. Denial. Panic. Investigation. Flight. Talking. And partying. Don't participate. You have to be ready. Being ready takes work. The danger is that work makes you tired. You have to keep your pace. Your friends will seem distant. Still, work is the best and strongest thing you can do. Remember to rest, watch, 
stand, pray, then work more. That's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, jessesteele.com. We can't judge only methods and expect to find happiness. Results and methods that lead to results are entirely separate, but from the perspective of the capital class or the teacher's desk, results are never in sight. Only theory matters in the universe of theory. Complaining exposes people who lack their own good results. They whine about tone, hard-hitting, and they mislabel foresight as lucky guessing. People fail because they don't kick their own butts. Results and foresight go hand in hand. If you don't know what's likely to happen tomorrow, it's likely that you need to excuse yourself less. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, jessesteele.com. See and understand by looking outside of your own world. Once you see beyond your normal boundaries, other boundaries will make more sense. The comfort zone was never any indication of safety. It's a prison. That prison keeps people from knowing each other and from knowing the future, from understanding each other and from understanding both the future and the past. Because we don't understand so many things, the future seems impossible to predict or anticipate. People who see things coming get labeled as lucky or divine when actually they simply live comfortably uncomfortable. For futurists, comfort is evil. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele. JesseSteele.com Many things have a threshold. Incompetence is one of them. Powerlessness is another. When a leader is viewed as both incompetent and powerless, everyone else, peers, outsiders, competitors, allies, subordinates, everyone, will view that leader as full of hot air. Once compared to a hot air balloon, it's hard to restore any respectable reputation. Hot air symptoms involve overreaching, making rules that can't be enforced, making rules that hurt and don't help, making rules outside of jurisdiction, prudence, or ethics. As a leader, it's your full-time job to make life better for others. When you don't, they poke holes. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, jessesteele.com. Those who are good at what they do in their own arenas dominate other arenas. Adolf Kiefer won the gold in the 1936 Olympics 100-meter backstroke. It mattered to Germany. Art can overpower arms. A single pedestrian can stop an entourage of tanks. Not always, but it can happen if the art is compelling enough, or the pedestrian is angry enough, and the times are desperate enough. Hardworking people are fed up with junk everywhere. Politics, business, family, culture. Across the world, the best-kept secret is the quality, hard work dominating secret workshops. When provoked, those workers will emerge. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, jessesteele.com. The reason we need experience is for experience. It's not just for experience itself, but to improve tomorrow's experience. Grandma always said, Don't judge a man until you've walked a mile in his shoes. Too often, when friend or enemy says, try it, we think they will just sell us snake oil. The invitation to try something before judging seems like a gimmick. They want to get us, we tell ourselves. But the real reason for trying is to know the truth. Better or worse... What is the real reason it's good or bad? We can't know real reasons from inexperience. And that is the point. I'm Jesse Steele, jessesteele.com. If this life is focused on a God-given test of our ability to love, then it is a teaching test that trains us through what we miss. 
all of the things we seek turn out to be the very things we failed to grab when opportunity presented itself. Visions are birthed in pain. Foresight is our anecdote to our past blindness. This is true of everyone. What makes us different is learning foresight earlier or later. The timing is a symphony of circumstance, people in our lives to lovingly make us miss out while explaining why, and our willingness to care. And that is the point. I'm Jesse Steele, jessesteele.com. All the little petty reasons why people win or fail, whether business, administration, love, or war, aren't the actual reasons. Those are the excuses. We actually win and lose according to the foresight of greater players, the high rollers in power, visionaries, good and bad angels, and the god of everyone's molecules. Big picture painters rarely target those who see them, even their enemies. Call it a professional courtesy, but people who see a thing before it makes smoke on the horizon, who recognize the lowering sea before the tsunami breaks the horizon, their prize is the same as their price. Survival. And that is the point. I'm Jesse Steele. JesseSteele.com Movers and shakers always have a list of things they wish they could get done today, but just can't. A thousand other projects keep their plans in limbo. It would seem that God might feel the same way, which is why many good things haven't happened yet. But God is not slow, as some count slowness. So perhaps those plans we have for today really aren't for today. Everything has its place and time. The things that can be for today and tomorrow will be. If tomorrow is the only day a thing can happen, it will probably be best. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, jessesteele.com. Problems are rarely as big as they seem. The term blessing in disguise doesn't do justice most of the time. The better the disguise, the bigger the blessing. Shell-shocked wartime veterans never fully get past the hidden enemies of the past. Maybe it's time history not repeat itself. Anyone can be new. Memories of enemies are always bigger than enemies themselves. Headlines of war always sell better than headlines of peace. Those little setbacks we run into along the way are oftentimes shortcuts to the very victories we seek. With everyone being in such a hurry, don't hate the shortcuts. That's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, jessesteele.com. The known and the unknown. Are they? One reason police investigations can take time is evasion and illusion. Villains deceive. That's what they do. If every crime was as simple as it is made to seem, then there would be no need for any police, courts, laws. In fact, If every first guess was right, we wouldn't even need schools, books, or even language for that matter. We wouldn't even need protests if all things were as they appear. So whomever you think the enemy is just might be your friend. Whoever helps you fight him is probably your puppet master. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele. JesseSteele.com It's easy to hate the bad guys so much that we forget to love the good guys. This usually drives mid-managers and second lieutenants to become tyrants, even though they want to achieve something good. Never hate evil so much that you forget to love goodness. In fact, it's probably best to just love what is good and forget about evil, lest evil open its back door to infiltrate your heart. This applies to mentoring as much as leading. Many brilliant consultants get fired. Frankly, it's everyone's fault when the consultant and the client forget to love goodness the most. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele. JesseSteele.com Everyone has problems. Everyone has goals and things we want to do. When things conflict, we choose what to do and what to reject. This is called choice. 
There seems to be some kind of disconnect in many people's thinking when we make a choice. We have our excuses. Somehow we think that having an excuse will relieve us of the negative backlash from our choice that we excuse. But negative backlash isn't stopped by our excuses. Consequences, good and bad, come from actions, not from our excuses for them. But not to worry. At least we have our excuses. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele. JesseSteele.com Preachers who do not walk and live and breathe every moment in God's voice can't preach God's voice. They will pack their sermons full of contingency plan after contingency plan for how to survive without God's moment-by-moment directions. So, Bible teachers prepare their audience to attempt the impossible, to survive when God doesn't show up. But God isn't going anywhere, and He hasn't gone anywhere. When we can't hear God's voice, we don't need contingency plans. We need to connect with Him so we can hear Him. Studying contingency plans rather than studying His voice won't achieve that. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, jessesteele.com. Justice isn't easy. We have all asked for it. We have all complained about injustice. We all know justice when we see it. But giving justice seems to be a skill attained by a reserved few. There are so many details that need to be considered in matters of justice. Matters of justice span from parenting to teaching to leading business. Government courts see the fewest actual situations of justice, only the ones which have gotten out of control. Courts are the last resort for justice, but they are the first thought on most people's minds. Give your own justice. That's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, jessesteele.com. Halloween originated in the 9th century when Rome couldn't force the pagans of the British Isles to stop acting like pagans. If you can't defeat your enemy, join him, as the Catholic Church has done since Constantine joined the church and took it over via government blessing. All that ancestor worship, spiritualizing food during the harvest season, and calling on ghosts to help survive the coming winter, many Taiwanese Christians don't want to let that go even today. Seven centuries later, Europe had enough of pagan Christendom. On Halloween, Martin Luther nailed 95 theses to a church door, and revival began. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, jessesteele.com. Exhausting one's case is, unfortunately, something only lawyers understand. That's one reason so many of them are good at pushing the limits. Not every idea, not every argument, not every method of persuasion needs to be made. Once we get a clear enough picture to remove doubt that is reasonable, it's time to end arguments and begin deliberation. Losers try to keep argument going as long as they can because they are unhappy if everyone doesn't agree with them. Proof, evidence, and especially self-evidence don't need long explanations. Once things are seen for what they are, it's time to choose. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, jessesteele.com. Patience heals. Space and dead air breed working space. Understanding welcomes tenderness. Foresight tops them all. Love and prayer empower foresight. Foresight empowers love because we expend less energy on ourselves when we are not surprised by what we could have seen but somehow didn't. Having seen yesterday what happened this morning empowers the foreseer to speak, inform, explain, unpack. Foresight is the tool to help others evaluate and interpret the times. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, jessesteele.com. Jesus is a conservative, so they say, or perhaps he's a liberal, all depending on whom you ask. But no one would say Her Majesty the Queen is a Whig. 
If the social justice warrior trend is to say that Jesus doesn't fit our worldview boxes, why doesn't it occur to the SJWs that Jesus doesn't fit into their ever-changing boxes either? Jesus is neither a conservative nor a liberal. He precludes politics. Jesus is a monarch, the only one worthy. Maybe the cause of social justice itself is an attempt to get justice without the truly worthy king's help. And that is the point. I'm Jesse Steele, jessesteele.com. Capitalism was the pilgrim's first discovery. Having only a few hundred people, there was no economic powerhouse to delay a failing economy's consequences. For them, surviving required prospering. But embracing prosperity wasn't their challenge. As saints among non-Bible-thumping strangers, as they were both called, the pilgrims had to learn to work. God wouldn't just make food spring up out of the ground, not since Eden. Perhaps they missed that lesson from Genesis. Coming from feudalism's tyranny, economically speaking, the pilgrims were children. Communism seemed good to them, but the lesson of capitalism is simple. We can share, but only after prospering. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele jessesteel.com. In the world discussion on sexuality, non-traditional positions presume two quests for self-identity are impossible. One, self-control, and two, buried treasure. But it is possible to control ourselves. Humans only require breathing, drinking, eating, sleeping, and hoping for love. Love is not restricted to any particular expression, but love is vast and always requires sacrifice and self-control. God knows our hopes such that he hid treasures and talents within us. Our inmost talents are softly concealed. We find them the more we find ourselves. God, the great gentleman, created ourselves to become knowable by ourselves. Of course he would. Gentlemen have self-control. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele. jessesteele.com Nearly all assumptions fit into two categories. We either assume that other people do things the same way we do, or we assume other people will do things differently. Both make the bigger assumption about ourselves. If we do things how everyone does them, then we are just like everyone else. If we think others do things worse than we do them, we think of ourselves as superior. Pride goeth before the fall. If we think others will always have better results than we do, we've made our own glass ceiling. It's generally best not to assume anything at all, and that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, jessesteele.com. The meaningful news of Christmas is simple. God is with us. It means peace on earth. It means goodwill toward mankind from the Most High. Many times people misinterpret this news as a sales pitch for Sunday morning. It's not. Good news is just good news. And the good news of Christmas is God with us. We are not alone. The one who would help us from heaven has already come. This is not a message of any other holiday. It's not a belief of any other main religion today. So, God with us really is news. Good news for all. And that's the point. Merry Christmas. I'm Jesse Steele. jessesteele.com.